the good news of the gospel right there. But when he died, I was justified. I didn't know anything about it. I'm thankful. It takes that out of my hands. Reconcile. When were you reconciled? It's not when I saw him. It's when he paid the debt. According to this, right? Unless I'm reading wrong, or if when we were enemies, that's all I was, was an enemy. I wasn't even born yet, but I was an enemy. Under the law, we were reconciled to God. If we were reconciled, and it says there, by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Oh, what a glorious truth. You know, I was thinking that today. Every day I get older, I get closer to proving what I'm preaching to you. And it's not theoretical, because there's going to be a day when I'm not going to be standing here anymore. And I think about what it is to stand before a holy God. Do I want it to be based upon my knowledge or my faith or my works or anything in me at all? Nope. I'll go to my grave resting in what this word says. And if I think otherwise, I deserve condemnation because all it does is deny the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Either he paid the debt or he didn't. Either my sins are taken away or they're not. And I'm okay with that. I don't have any other hope than that. That when he died, he put away my sin. And therein I rest. Therein I rest.